Hello and welcome to Six Minutes. I'm Michael Woodhead. A pap test every two years saves lives. That's the message put out to women over the age of 18 to try and prevent cervical cancer. But is it all about to change? This week we've seen Australian researchers report a big reduction in rates of abnormal pap tests in young women since the start of the National HPV Vaccination Programme. In their paper in The Lancet, the researchers say this could mean pap tests being delayed until the age of 25 or perhaps being done less frequently. We spoke to Associate Professor Karen Canfell of the Cancer Council of New South Wales about what this means for GPs. The new study from Victoria um, has used information on trends in high-grade precancerous abnormalities in Victorian women. And the investigators found a significant and substantial drop in high-grade abnormalities in girls under the age of 18. They didn't yet identify any drops in women over the age of 18. So this is um, likely to be an early marker of the effect of the National HPV vaccination program in, in young women. Because the investigators used um, trends information and because it was an ecological study, we can't be absolutely sure that the drop um, observed in, in girls under the age of 18 was due to HPV vaccination. But it is very important to state that these changes are exactly what we expect to see. They're consistent with other evidence on the effect of the vaccine and they're consistent with previous research which has um, modelled the impact of the vaccination program and predicted a very rapid drop in HPV infections in the youngest age group. So at this point there aren't any changes observed in rates of high-grade precancerous abnormalities in women over the age of 18. But I think it's, it's important to note that we do expect those changes to occur rather rapidly now. Um, it, within the next year or two, the youngest vaccinated cohorts in the, in the vaccination program will reach the age of routine screening. And the HPV vaccine is most effective when it's given before prior exposure to HPV, so in the youngest groups. So I think the message here is that although the screening recommendations are, um, will remain the same at the moment, we do expect rapid change um, and that due consideration I think will be given to changing the screening recommendations to take account of this very important effect that we expect to see in younger women. So the take home message for the primary practitioner is that cervical screening recommendations are unchanged at the moment. Cervical screening should start at age 18 and um, be performed every two years in sexually active women. However, I think it's really important to note that we do expect very rapid changes um, to roll through into the screening program within the next few years so that due consideration will be given to changing the program in the future. So I think the main message for parents at young girls, of young girls at school is to um, keep the coverage up in 12 to 13 year old girls so that we can um, continue to protect future cohorts of girls against cervical cancer. And as we know, pap testing rates could still be higher in older women. Well, that's all from Six Minutes this week. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael Woodhead and I'll see you next time.